Whoopsie. Wait a second. Okay, it's kind of working. New filming setup check. I spent all of yesterday sort of organizing what you see in the background of this video as well as a new lighting setup. Let me know how you feel about it. I've been spending so much time on TikTok recently. I have a folder in my camera roll of TikTok beauty hacks that I've wanted to try. I know a lot of other YouTubers have been doing this recently, so today I'm gonna shoot my shot. I'm going to be trying TikTok beauty hacks and see if they work and if they do work, are they actually actually worth it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. All right, I have a TikTok beauty hack for practically every step in my routine today, so let's just get started. Starting out with arguably the most popular TikTok beauty hack. This one I see pretty much anytime I open the app. Okay, so what she's saying is moisturizer, powder, setting spray, primer, foundation. That sounds like a whole lot of makeup to me, especially because I don't typically wear primer. But let's go, let's see if this transforms my face. All right, going in with my go-to, this is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. And this morning I used cleanser and toner. So this is the first time that I'm moisturizing for the day. I'm just curious about how this hack will really work for combo skin as well as slightly aging skin. I mean, as hard as it is to say, at 27, I am noticing some fine lines on my forehead. My laugh lines are getting deeper as well as under the eyes. Got some moisturizer in my hair there. The second step is translucent powder. So I'm using the powder that I chose in my shop, my stash. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I really like this powder because it's pretty finely milled. She said not too much, so I'm gonna go pretty lightly. Quickly adding some setting spray. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Now I had to dig into some old PR samples because like I said, I don't typically wear face primer unless it is a super special event or I'm gonna be photographed. So I dug out a tube of the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Pore Minimize Primer. There it is, it's one of those clear, pretty silicone-y feeling primers. I typically like to, ooh. It has kind of a smell to it. <laughs> I like to pat it in to my T-zone and then kind of spread out from there. So the next step is adding my foundation. And I will say right now, just with those three clear steps, my skin is already looking real smooth. We've got another shot my stash pick for my foundation. This is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. Now I will say I have noticed after using this a couple of times since making that shot my stash video, it's a little light for me, the shade. Now this foundation itself already gives me a really smooth and glowy finish, so I'd be surprised. We really did see a difference. I made that face because I looked into the camera viewfinder. Just at first glance, it did actually look like I have a smoothing filter on my skin. If I had to call it right now, I would say that this TikTok makeup hack works. So far, so good. Let's move on to the next TikTok hack. This next one is all about brows. Okay, so awesome beauty hack. Stop buying these named brand eyebrow gels because honestly, they don't work. There's little product and they're way too expensive. Go ahead and buy this at Walmart or Target. Get a spoolie, add a little bit, brush your eyebrows as normal, and you're good to go. First of all, throw in shade at Benefit. I actually really like the eyebrow gels that she held up. Now this person used the Got To Be Styling Spiking Glue, which I do not have, but I did find an ultra defining stronghold hair gel from Diva Curl just in my random like travel size bin. And I figure it'll probably do the same thing. So in general, the hack is use hair gel as brow gel. You get more for way less. So I am just gonna lightly fill them in first with the BH Cosmetics Brow Duo. Now, the one that she used was Stronghold, and so is this. I am afraid of like crunchiness though, so. So far, so good. It didn't seem to lift any of the brow powder off. I just don't want shiny brows, you know what I mean? While we let the brows dry, let's do a foundation check. I am starting to notice a little bit of settling. Maybe I can just see it in person, because I'm really, no, you can see it right here, see? 
Okay, so the hair gels dry. They look really nice. Like you can see them all going in the same direction. So this is a hack that I think can save you a lot of money because you can get hair gel so inexpensively. All right, these next two TikTok makeup hacks may be the more questionable of the bunch. Let's watch this one about inner corner eyeliner. I'm gonna keep it on mute because it does have copyrighted music in back. She's placing a bobby pin on the bridge of her nose to stretch out her inner corner so that she can do a cat eye on the inner side. All right, I've got my bobby pin. Nothing special about the one she was using. Let's go. Put it on the bridge of her nose. Oh, okay, will this be our first fail? Let's see if I can just get more skin with it. No. <laughs> do I just have like a really wide nose? Uh, is my skin too smooth from the foundation hack? Okay, so I found this duck bill clip. Maybe that will work better because the bobby pin wasn't grasping anything. So let's see if this works. Okay, it's holding on to literally a millimeter of my skin. It's not really pulling anything inward. So I think we've got our first TikTok beauty hack fail. I'm gonna go ahead and add some normal eyeliner just so we have a little bit of an eye look going on today. This next one is probably the craziest thing I've seen. Let's check it out. All right, so she starts off showing a side by side of her lashes done and not done. She is doing a first step of mascara and then taking a freaking blow dryer and using it to curl them. Now, I have no idea why this would be your curling method of choice, but let's try it out. Okay, I'm using my BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash Mascara. Now, I have some pretty dang straight lashes, so if this works, I will be pretty surprised. All right, here's what my lashes look like before blow drying them. All right, I'm gonna make sure my blow dryer is on the cool setting. Did that do anything besides make my eye water? <laughs> okay, let's see what this looks like side by side. Let me put some mascara on the other side. This side is the one I just did and I have not used the blow dryer and this is the blow dryer side. Is it me or do they look exactly the same? This is ridiculous. Also, if you like lost your eyelash curler or something and now you're on lockdown, they sell eyelash curlers at the grocery store. Like just go buy one. This doesn't do anything. <laughs> we do have one more mascara hack though. So let's give it a listen. Here's what you do when you get mascara on your top lid. First, we're gonna let it dry. Whatever you do, don't go in straight away and try to touch it. That's only gonna make it more messy because it's still wet, so let it dry down first. Now go ahead and take a dry mascara spoolie or even a toothbrush and go over it lightly, just trying to flick off that mascara. So you're just dry brushing and flicking this off of the skin. It's gonna start slowly coming off. Go over it a few more times until that really dark pigment is off. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna touch up that eyeshadow a little bit by taking- Okay, so I'm not wearing eyeshadow, so I don't need to see how she touches it up. But basically, this happens to me all the time. I either end up with mascara on my eyelid or my nose. All right, say I was doing my mascara and oopsie. How do I know if it's dry? Oh, nope, not dry. If this works, this would be like a life-saving hack. Okay, it's dry. Going in with a clean spoolie, let's see if it flakes off. Wait a second. Okay, it's kind of working. There's just a little bit of a smear, but that could also be because I did touch it before it dried. I got impatient. But this is totally working. I can just kind of smear off that dark spot now. I mean, that's pretty dang good. All right, this one I'm keeping in my back pocket. I feel like so far this is the most practical hack that we've tried today. Our next hack involves highlighter, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some contour and blush so that we can top it all off. I'm back. I wanna point something out that I'm noticing about my foundation. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up because of like the studio lighting and everything. Like I can see makeup breaking up in the shape and size of all of my individual pores. Starting to notice this laugh line getting a little more deep every time I check in. So I think that first hack, you know, it just really depends on your skin type. But let's move on to this next hack that has to do with highlighter. So when applying highlight, um, after you apply the first layer, put setting spray on and then apply it again and it'll be 10 times as bold. 
if you have a pair. Okay, she goes on to do some other hacks that we're not gonna try out, but y'all know I love a bold highlight, so I wanna see how bold we can get. Gonna be using my Revlon Skin Lights highlighter and the same setting spray we used earlier. Let's get into it. All right, step one is apply the highlighter. Now this highlighter is already pretty high impact. All right, here we are to start out, and I'm gonna try this hack on one side of my face first so we can see the side by side. All right, taking the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray one more time. She didn't say whether or not it's supposed to dry for First. We need all the information when you're making these TikTok beauty hacks, people. It's still slightly damp. I'm gonna go over it. Yes, it's blinding and definitely stronger than this side, but I'm also layering up highlighter. <laughs> like, wouldn't it get stronger the more I layer it? Let's try layering it on this side without the setting spray and see one more layer does the trick. With setting spray, without setting spray. You tell me, does it look like it really made that much of a difference or can I just layer up my highlight? Okay, I'm gonna add lipstick to finish off this look and then we'll move on to our final TikTok beauty hack. All right, so this last hack is supposed to give you an instant facelift. Let's check it out. I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get that model cat eye facelift look that you see in all of their selfies. So you're gonna wanna take the top layer of your hair, put it back and put it up with a clip. Then you need to grab a rubber band and take these two small pieces of hair near your eye and tie them together at the back. And then you go ahead and pull it to tighten it. Oh my gosh, did you guys just see my eyebrows? And whole eye raise. I loosened it and I wanna show you from the front view again what happens when I tighten it. Then you just let down the rest of your hair and you have an instant cat eye facelift. You can do this all day if you want and walk around like this with that extra oomph lift or you can just do it for a selfie. Either works, but that's a trick on how to get it. I don't feel like I'd be able to wear this all day because if it's really pulling at the sides of my face, like I get a headache just from putting my hair in a ponytail. But let's try it out because it could be a good trick for selfies. Okay, top layer of hair going in a clip. So let's just see if I pull these pieces, what happens? Okay, I see it happening a little bit. I feel like my face is just looking wide when I do that. I feel like the rubber band's not strong enough to really keep it pulled as far back as I need it to be pulled. This is not worth it. Just face tune your photo. Okay, so I, I have it pretty tight in back. And then we can just... All right, <laughs> is there a difference? Maybe I don't have a strong enough rubber band. For me, my hair would need to be pulled tight for it to do anything. I do kind of feel lifted right here, just as far as like my skin goes and how it's feeling, but you tell me, does it look different? Also, hello, this sticks out in back, <laughs> like. All right, y'all, I think that's enough TikTok beauty hacks for one day. Have you tried any TikTok beauty hacks that actually work? Let me know what they are in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Laura. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I do a drugstore pastel makeup look for spring. I'll see you over there. Bye.